Hey guys, what's going on? It's Prend HD here today. Hey guys, Nathan here. Mom's crew here today. And we're doing another live com. If you guys remember a while back, uh, we did one together and it went up on Nathan's or Mom's Kirby OK's channel. So we decided to do one and just put it up on both. Um, so what we wanted to talk about today was how the Nintendo or how Nintendo shut down the server or the Wi-Fi servers on some DS games, some Wii games, and some uh, like Wii applications that you could download off the Wii store. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, um, whenever I used to play the Wii, that's how I got into Call of Duty. And um, basically, without Nintendo Wi-Fi, it would have not been where I am here as of now, like Call of Duty-wise. Yeah, um, they didn't shut down all of the Call of Duty games. They shut down World at War and COD 4, I think. Because I think the way that this happened was... I'm pretty sure I saw this in a video, but someone said, like, they shut down the... The company... Uh, yeah, it was a company that... Um, that Nintendo... Because before, like, Nintendo... Like, they got a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. um, they... Um, they, like, didn't want to make their own engine. And the company yeah. that... The company that, like, made the engine for them, they shut down. Mm -hmm. So, they... So they obviously couldn't just continue and keep, you know. Yeah, and another thing is that um, the uh, the the Call of Duty servers aren't really. I mean, they are part of Wi-Fi connection, but there's more than just Wi-Fi connection to it. It's um or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. There's you know Activision's way of doing it. Activision's ha has their servers that takes you know. Uh, keeps your player information and stuff like that. And uh, from my understanding right now is that all the servers are shut down now, but the Call of Duty ones were the last to go, probably because Nintendo doesn't have full authority there, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, like he said, I if I didn't have like the Wi-Fi aspect to play Call of Duty, I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I probably would never have even like played because without. Uh, uh, what's it called? Without the Wi-Fi, there's really nothing. There's really nothing fun about Call of Duty, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. let's say there was no multiplayer, you could have played Zombies Solo. Let's say we're talking about a Treyarch game. You could have played Zombies Solo, or you could have played Extinction player. Or yeah, Extinction, because yeah. that mm -hmm. gets played so much. Um, but I would never, I would never have made it where I am today. Yeah, and I, I think Nintendo is kind of crazy. I think this is Nintendo's way of saying, you know, you better upgrade. Um, and, I mean, some most of the people now have a 3DS, but, you know, most some of those people don't have 3DSs. And uh, basically, it's a big, you know, screw off. We hope you get the newest and greatest, you know. They're not, um, I'm surprised, honestly, if Nintendo's making this move, I think Sony and Microsoft are, are learning from it and seeing how some people are already complaining about how Nintendo just dropped support on all, like, a lot of their consoles, like the Wii, the DS, and, you know, some Wii channels, like you said, and it's, you know, I don't think Nintendo really, uh, honestly, if I were to if I were to be the deciding person that actually does this, I wouldn't have done that. I would have given them some warning. I mean, there was warning, but there was like a few months warning. It wasn't like, oh yeah, by the way, next year you better be prepared to buy a console, you know, a newer console. Yeah, that's just unfair and unrealistic to uh, to expect them to be like, oh, I have a month left to play on Wi-Fi, I better go buy a Wii U. Because some people, like, they either... They're like eight-year-old kids who don't have an income, or they're like mm -hmm. living pay to check to play paycheck as it is, and they just play Wii for fun, and so they're not gonna go out and be like, oh, let me just go buy this three-hundred-dollar Wii U, when I could just play this one on Wi-Fi, and then they would just know, or they would just get all of a sudden told. Exactly, like um, most, you know, when people think. Uh when you think of the uh, the Wii, you think of younger kids, and that's kind of how Nintendo 
planned it out to be well they planned it out to be a family thing but then you know it ended up becoming a, kind of a kid's toy and I, I speak for experience i had a wii when i obviously i had two wii's when i was younger and i you know i still played call of duty on them and most of the call of duty players for we were younger people there were a couple adults on there adults on there but they were the kind of adults that really don't play it religiously like some play people on sony and microsoft's consoles you know yeah the some of the big problems with the wii 2 were like it wasn't like the pinnacle of like quality either. Like the like there was that's too many times I can say like. Um <laughs> there was a controller you could either play with the nunchuck or you could play with like the I forgot what the name of it was. The pro controller, the I think. Classic it was controller pro, that, yes. That, yeah. that. It C C P Yeah. It was basically like a combination of the three sixty controller and the uh PlayStation 3 controller. And it's not like it was um a great piece of machinery. It didn't even plug directly into your Wii. You plugged it into the back of your Wii remote and you still had to like put in batteries to the Wii remote or else it wouldn't mm-hmm. work. And the headsets, the headsets you could buy, they were they clipped like onto your ear. Oh, I hated them. Honestly, they were not really good. But the the company who made them were were really nice people. Like they put two years warranty on it. If it broke, you just had to tell them. And they you didn't even have to prove anything. Honestly, they just give you another one for free because they're pretty cheap to make. Obviously. Yeah, and the, there was a problem. Well, I this is how my first Wii broke. So story time. Mm-hmm. Um, I I was playing and the way it was connected, like. If you have a Wii, you'll know this. On the back of it, there's a USB port, and you had to plug it into that. And one day, I, like, stood up to uh, do something, and I forgot to take it off, and I, like, ripped my ear with it. And it, the Wii fell over, and it, like, broke. So there goes my headset and my Wii. So I had to buy a brand new Wii. And then that Wii destroyed my Black Ops 1, so I had to buy a new Black Ops 1 and a new Wii. Yeah. And it was just a problem. It, that's another thing, like, with Wi-Fi, I could also see Nintendo doing this, is because um, they didn't aren't making any money off of it. They literally aren't making any money off of it, other than the sales they make on the Nintendo Store. But in all honesty, if you want to be fair about it, not many things. Like, the way the de- uh, de- um, developers were paid on the Nintendo Store was um, they were paid whenever they reached a certain threshold. So, like, let's say um, Nintendo, you release your app on Nintendo's store for $2, uh, we will give you uh, the amount of money that they, basically Nintendo would say is we will pay you all the money we owe you if you reach this amount of sales. If you don't reach the amount of sales, you have lost money, we have gained money. That's pretty much how it works. Like, looking through some of these games that they're canceling, like these are like half of my childhood. Uh, mm-hmm. Mario Kart, DS... Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That was such a fun game. Um, Oh, yeah. uh, For the Wii, they had Animal Crossing was fun. Mm -hmm. Mario Kart Wii was fun. Um, And, oh, Pokemon Battle Revolution. That was the one where this was was revolutionary for me. Like, I was enthralled. It was like you could have the Pokemon from Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl. And you could have them on your DS. But you could, like, put them on your Wii and battle other people with them. I was mind-blown. I played it for, like, five minutes and then got bored. And (laughs) that was, like, because I was, like, seven or eight years old. But it was, like, it was, like, the coolest thing ever for me because I didn't know what the Internet was. I was, like, seven years old. I was, like, battling people in, like, Japan, and they were whooping me because I seven years old and didn't know how to play tactically. I was just, like, using tackle. Yeah. And, like, about about that, it's, um, that was... You know, that was one of the the games that was played the most on the Wii for the Wi-Fi connection because Pokemon and Pokemon and Pokemon and now all those games that have the Wi-Fi capability, you just they can't do it now, you know, because Nintendo just completely just like cock-blocked, to be honest with you. Like, nope, no longer able to play online because Father Nintendo, nope, not letting you play. Um, Another game, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That game Mm -hmm. was, that game was straight fire. They're coming out with another one though for the Wii U, and I returned my Wii U, so it doesn't help. Oh, you did? Yeah, that it. Uh, it's not bad. I don't think it would be bad if I bought like a real game, but I bought Pikmin Three. Mm-hmm. That game was fun on like, I don't know what I had it for. I think I had it for the GameCube, or no, I had it for the Wii when it first came out. 
mm-hmm. and it was fun then, but it just wasn't fun now that I'm 17 years old and <laughs> not mm-hmm. playing on the Wii anymore. So, yeah, uh, but I mean, Nintendo doing this, it's um, they're um, honestly, we don't have to worry about Nintendo going bankrupt for quite a while because they have um. From my understanding, they do have enough money in the bank to go bankrupt 30 or to, you know, lose money for 30 years and still be good without having to declare bankruptcy. But the the fact of the matter is Nintendo is, um, they're a good company. It's just the, the decisions they're making um, aren't the greatest. Like with the Wii U, it's a good console and all, and I'm not hating or anything. It's just that they would have waited for a little bit for, you know, Sony and Microsoft to maybe release their specs and stuff. They could have improved it. But... Nintendo's more of a company that wants um, affordable things, uh, you know, and they want everyone to play it. But this time around, the Wii U sold, um, as of now, the Wii U has sold less than the Xbox One and PS4. And, you know, the last generation was the complete opposite. But it was complete opposite, actually. It went from, you know, it went uh, the Xbox, I mean, the, P- the Wii, the Xbox, and then the PS3. And then now it's the PS4, the Xbox, and the Wii. Like, it's a complete flip flop, you know? Yeah. The problem with the Wii U as well, and I told you this already, um, um, like, the Wii U is, it's previous gen, it's like the 360 and the PlayStation 3 of Nintendo, so mm-hmm. it's, it's not up to standards of next gen, so I don't know if they intended that or what, but they, they completely, I don't know if they, yeah, like I said, I don't know if they meant to do that, but it wasn't. I think it was an, a catch-up game, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. it's a good console, but they they had to improve. Like they had to show some sort of improvement from the uh, the previous gen because obviously the Wii was the underdog, and the N- Nintendo made the huge mistake of releasing the Wii with its specs because the 360 was already out at the time. The PS3 was already known for specs, and then Nintendo comes out and releases their 80 megabytes of RAM, which is not good enough for nowadays like the games nowadays you couldn't you know even back then some games weren't good with 80 megabytes of ram but like um e- it was good for first party games but the thing is nintendo is more of a first party co- uh you know first party company and they need to offer more th- third party support and whenever they do offer third party support nobody's going to mess with them because they don't want their game to fail now it's not an insult to nintendo it's just nintendo's reputation is known for Third-party games not doing as well as first-party, which is normal, but it's just the developers want the third-party games to do better, obviously, or else right. you, they lose money, you know. Yeah, and one thing that brought the Wii U, like I'm reading an article right now, it says the Wii U sales are up 90%, and like mm-hmm. that's, and you can guess why, and this article is like recent, it's only, what, I'm, like something like a month old, it's because they released Mario Kart, and that's mm-hmm. the only reason. And they're going to have to release a lot more than just Mario Kart in order to get people buying it. I think um, the new Super Smash Brothers will actually g- uh, give Nintendo sales, but I don't think you, you know, I don't think it's going to go above. In all honesty, I don't think it's going to go above for uh, Xbox or the PS4 or whatever. It's not. They're not going. It's not going to sell more than that because oh, no. No. because it's who, in all honesty, who buys a console just to play one game. I agree. I think Nintendo's best chance would be what everybody's wanted all along, and that's a Pokemon game for console. That isn't like Battle Revolution. The last one they did was Pokemon Gale of Darkness on the GameCube, if I'm Mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yeah, and now the the ones after that, they they want you to, you know, they focus on oh, if you play this game single will you, uh, single um, without another console, you're going to have a bad time. They want you to have a DS or a 3DS to come to um, cooperate with the console and, you know, transfer the Pokemon and stuff. Like, I remember in Pokemon, uh, what was it, Pokemon Ranch on um, the Wii, uh, which was completely dependent on a DS because Pokemon Ranch was an application where you can store all your Pokemon and stuff. And what Nintendo, like all the Pokemon games for the Wii on Nintendo are either spin-off games that, you know, have nothing to do with the DS version or the games that do involve a storyline, ha- you have to have a DS or else you're going to have a pain, you know, it's going to be a pain to actually win battles. Yeah. Um, the only thing I can really find that was released on console was like Poke Park, and like seven people total bar- bought that. 
and that was just like I don't even know how that worked. Cause it was like you could get an application on your Wii, and then you could play it, and then you could just see your Pokemon and like pet them or something like that. It was mm-hmm. just weird. But the last, the last game that was on a console was Pokemon Battle Revolution in 2006, and the last one before that was Gale of Darkness on GameCube in 2005. What two thousand? Jeez, that that was a long time ago. Eight years. Two thousand and six. I remember playing that game so much. Like, that's all I played. It was always fun to to just completely play twenty four seven. But now it's like, uh, see, what really made me mad was um, when I went from the the Wii in the living room to the Wii that was in the game room. Uh-huh. I lost all my um, save data. So I was uh-huh. like, because you couldn't transfer it either, because some games they didn't allow you to copy and transfer. Yeah, and that sucked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so is that it? I guess. I mean, that's all. You know, Nintendo should have... Um, I could see why Nintendo was, you know, wanted to shut them down to save money, but in all honesty, they don't need to save money because they have enough saved up, so they kind of just backfired. Yeah, it's backfiring. All right, guys, so remember to like the video, favorite if you really like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and... See you guys later. <laughs>